Hi, Shalom Shalom from Israel. This is Ola, the daughter of Jethro. And I just heard that you black people that was stolen from Africa to America, that you don't know who you are. But you are the children of, of Yahweh, the children of Israel. And I'm telling you, you have to come back to your homeland, here to Zion, to Jerusalem. Hello, everybody. This video is to show you who the true Hebrews or Jews are, or Yehudim. The people in Israel right now are not Jews. They're Khazars. Your true Jews or your true Yehudim are the so-called black person. I know the black people here are the true Hebrew Israelites. And I'd like to now bring up another interesting place that you're finding descendants of the Israelites, but may not necessarily be from the Ten Tribes, but will also play a role. And shouldn't be overlooked. It's a very serious scenario. This is in Africa. Africa has perhaps hundreds of millions of people with this identity right now of being from the people of Israel. When the Romans conquered Judea a few hundred years after the tribes of Israel went into exile, perhaps millions of Judeans were sold into slavery, into Africa, into Rome, deep into Africa. If you look now, you're seeing people who are most likely the descendants of those slaves. I just wanted to come to you to uh, impart some knowledge on to you about who the true biblical Hebrew Israelites are. Um, Bloodline wise, they are the so called African Americans. The wisdom of Solomon in the Apocrypha in the fifth chapter talks about how Jacob. Uh, how the heathen is going to be amazed and confounded when they realize that that, that so-called black man is uh, that chosen line. When we talk about race, we're talking about that group of people that white people sometimes call niggers. I wonder how many of you actually know what that word means. You will by the end of the show. Now, <clears throat> If I were to tell you that blacks once had a great culture which exceeded the culture of whites, you probably find that pretty incredible. But we're talking about the ignored truths of history. Those of you who've been watching this show may perhaps recall that several weeks ago we talked about the fact that most of the Jews alive in the world today may actually be descendants of Russian converts. Now, Jews like to consider themselves to be descendants of Israel. So the fact that Russia was once a Jewish nation for 500 years, in fact, and that most Jews who are alive today may be more closely descended from Attila the Hun than from King Solomon, these are facts which are just glaring facts, and it, it's incredible that such things could be ignored. And the question of how such things could be ignored has an answer, and the answer is collusion. All the parties involved have silently agreed even perhaps without ever talking to each other, they've silently agreed to just not discuss this subject. In the case of the Russian Khazar Jews, it's embarrassing and frightening to Jews to consider the possibility that they may actually be descendants of converts and may have very little Israeli blood in them. In the case of the Russians, it's a horrendous embarrassment to them to admit that for 500 years in the Middle Ages, Russia was a Jewish nation. So they just ignore it. It's collusion. Now, if I were to tell you that blacks, for as many centuries as whites have been uh, superior, if you want, in the Western world, that for just as many centuries blacks were superior, you'd probably find that hard to believe. And you'd wonder how such a fact could be hidden. And the answer is, again, collusion. The whites wouldn't want to admit such a thing, because whites like to feel superior and like to think that their superiority is somehow permanent by God. As for blacks, if you look into the black civilizations that we're going to take a look at momentarily, you find something pretty interesting. You find that those civilizations actually arose as Jewish civilizations, later to become... From West Africa, they have been taken as a slaves to America. Brothers and sisters, blacks of America, it's you. You are the true Hebrews. You are the true Hebrews from the Bible. 
America gonna be, do everything, gonna invest as much money as it has, and gonna fight as much wars as they as they can, gonna invite as much weapons as they can, just to hide this away from you. Gonna take Israel, gonna bring white people here, and to tell you these are the Jews, gonna do, gonna kill you, gonna kill Arabs, gonna mistreat white people like this guy, just to tell you this lie that that you are nobody and we are the Jews with all the history and so on. It has been deleted your history. You don't know who you are. Don't forget about it. This is why it is. America has been taking your history away. Never to find out that it's all about you. I'm telling you this, please. I don't know. I don't ask you to come to Israel and to start a revolution. I'm just try asking you to start thinking this way, to believe me a little bit, because I'm living in Israel and I'm part of this uh, injustice. I really believe that people like me and you, we can we can bring the justice. Because as the Gentiles, we do need you. We need you to come and pray because you are our savior. You the one that was chosen by Yahweh to live in this land, not the Jewish people, it's you. You were stolen from Africa, they deceived you, they told you that you are slaves, but you actually the children of Israel. And it's time just to come, come back. Come for, for, for your people, come back for us, come back for the whole Gentiles, because only you, only you gonna save us. So please come back to Zion. destroyed is a response to black Hebrew Israelites debunked. This is the updated and extended version of part 5, West Africa.